If creating your pins is taking you a really long time, then this video is for you because I'm going to share with you a tool that makes this process super fast. So if you find yourself kind of staring at the blank screen, kind of trying to design your pin and it's taking you so long to figure out a good design for your pins, then this tool will really help you and it's called Tailwind Create. I have been using Tailwind since 2019, so quite a while now, and I love them and I only recently started partnering up with them, so today's video is sponsored by them. Um, but I wanted to show you how I use Tailwind Create and how you can use it really easily as well. And on Tailwind, um, if you have no idea what that is, it's basically a pin scheduler app. So it's a scheduler app for your pins where you can take pins from your website or just from your computer and you can schedule them to go to your Pinterest throughout the next few days or weeks um, at the best times for your um, specific account. Um, and it's really handy, really easy to use. Um, and it has definitely helped my Pinterest strategy a lot. So if you kind of want more info on that, I will link below a video where I kind of give you more insight into how I use Tailwind in general. But today I'm just going to focus on Tailwind Create, which is another feature of Tailwind. And it's basically where you can create um, quite a few pins really fast on their platform and they do have a forever free plan where you can um, schedule I think 20 posts per month um, so that's really good if you want to get started with that I will link down below where you can do that but let's go ahead I'm going to share my screen and show you how I use Tailwind Create okay so now that I'm in my Tailwind dashboard I can go here on the left to the paintbrush and this is where you can find Tailwind Create so let's go ahead and click on start creating now Okay, so here this is what you will set up the first time so this is not something that you will have to do every single time so you will do this once and personalize your tailwind create and then every single time you create pins this is will be all filled in for you so um let's say website or brand name so i've just got my website here so from here you can select um, your font so you can select a title one which is going to be the main one and then the subtitle one which is going to be I think slightly smaller depending on your um, design um, or you can uh, go here in the curated font pairing where you can just look through the already paired ones made um, by Tailwinds so they've got lots of pairings that you can choose from so it makes it really easy for you to choose your fonts obviously you can change them um, afterwards as well then we move on to colors so here you can either select your palette if you um, already have brand colors set up then you can just click on here on one of these and then put in your hex code here which is what i'm going to do in a second or if you don't want to do that if you're not sure what colors to use that's fine you can go through the curated color palette here and they have lots of color palettes depending on what you prefer for your brand so yeah how cool is that it's really easy for you to find um, colors like for example I can like this one or this one the dusty rose one but obviously it really depends on your brand and you don't have to be a great like graphic designer to create really beautiful pins on here okay so I have put in my um, color palette in here so these are the colors that I usually use for both my website and my pins as well and then you can also put in your logos if you want to okay so I have uploaded my logo as well and then you can go let me move my hat and then you can go and click on save and continue okay so this is what you will see when you want to create um, a pin for or like multiple pins for a specific blog post um, or you can just create for a product for any other type of content that you want so I will include here my destination link so let's say I want to create some pins for this blog post which is like my my um, ultimate guide on how to start your blog and make money blogging so I will copy paste the um, the link for that and put it in here Okay, that is my title and then you can either look through their stock photos or you can upload your own so if you have no idea where to find stock photos you can find them either on for example Canva for free um, or you can find them on Unsplash that's a good website as well those are kind of like the main ones that I go for um, and you can upload them here so make sure the pictures that you use are either your own or they're um, you know free to use so they're not copyrighted ones Okay, so I have uploaded a few that I like to use. So I'm going to go and create images. Okay, so now I have all these pins ready created for my specific brand for that blog post that I mentioned. So um, you can go ahead and select the ones that you like. Like for example, if you don't like one, that's fine. You can just skip it. 
um, and you can select the ones that you do like and add them to your um, selection. So you can see here at the bottom how many you can um, select in this page. And also if you want to change the settings that you just picked, like the photos or the color palette, you can do that here on the left. And a really cool thing here, you can also create different types of posts. So it's not just for Pinterest. Um, so you can do Instagram feed posts, you can do Instagram stories, or you can do Facebook posts as well. So how cool is that? Let's, um, let's see what they look like. I'm really curious to see. So this would be for Instagram feed. This would be for Instagram stories. If you want to share these on your stories or you can do um, Facebook feed posts as well. So it's, they automatically size and optimize them for that specific platform. So let's go back to the pins because that's what I want to create now. Um, you can also select how many photos. So from the ones that you uploaded, how many you want um, to show on your pins. And you can also choose the type of um, content that you want, to, um, you want to promote. So I will say blog post to see what they will look like then. Okay, so now I can just go through these and select the ones um, that I like. So for example, I really like this one. So I'm going to click on select. Um, and let's see what else. See, so this one, for example, has multiple pictures in it. And if you, for example, I kind of like this design, but maybe I don't like that brown shade in here. So I can just click on edit and edit any type of the design here. So for example, I can make this um, one from my own color palettes, like this one. I think that would look a bit nicer. So um, that's what I mean. You can edit these designs as well. You can also edit the text if you like to do that. Um, you can change the fonts from here as well. So um, even though you choose your main fonts in the beginning, you can always change them. Like you're not stuck with them for all of the designs. So I will click on select this. And as you can see, it already puts in your blog name or like your branding. Um, if you want to add that, um, like this one's a really simple one, but I kind of like it. Oh, this is really cool with the um, hexagons. I will select this one. Um, and you can just go on and on. And it's actually kind of fun and it gives you lots of ideas. Like maybe I wouldn't have thought of creating designs like this. Um, and yeah, it really gives you a lot of ideas for um, future posts as well. So for example, I'll select this. Oh, look, this one's um, really cool, but I think I would maybe change the color on the font because it's not easily um, readable. But let's say I want to go on edit and go maybe make this font a white one. Yeah, I think that would be better. But yeah, this is a cool design, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of like this one, for example. So um, yeah, again, so many ideas. And you can use the, these for your future pins as well. You can, um, if you have one style that you really like, you can favorite it. Um, so you can save it for your future pins to create similar ones, maybe with different pictures or a different uh, text on them. Um, yeah, really cool uh, tool to use. So if you are struggling to create your pins on Pinterest, then this is a really good place to start. And then you can go to review your selection once you have selected all the ones that you like. Um, and then you can go ahead and schedule them straight to your uh, Pinterest uh, schedule. So a really cool tool. I hope this was helpful if you had no idea how to start on Tailwind Create, or maybe if you had no idea what it was. It's a really good tool that you can use to make your life easier as a content creator. Yeah, so I hope you found this helpful. Do give this video a thumbs up if you did and uh, do subscribe to this channel so you can get more blogging um, and social media tips from me. Um, and if you want to try Tailwind Create for yourself, you can go ahead and start with the forever free plan on Tailwind, which is really amazing. So I will link that in the description box. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.